Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, temperature reaching 70 degrees this afternoon and a few degrees milder tomorrow afternoon as well. Take a look outside. The clouds and fog are rolling back in. As mentioned before, it never really left the south shore. It was locked in all day long. Uh, but the rest of the area actually enjoying some mild sunshine in the second half of the day, and that really boosts the temperatures up. I think a better chance of burning this off along the coastline by roughly mid to late morning tomorrow. When we take a look at the visibility, and you see the area shaded in gray where the uh, lowest visibility is located right now, and from Newport to New Bedford, the Cape, the Islands, Block Island, and Westerly. So naturally, that is where we have the dense fog advisory south and east of Providence now through uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Now, it will be fog everywhere this evening and overnight, but the worst of the visibility, the further south you go towards the ocean. Temperatures holding in the low 60s after reaching 70, currently 66 in Providence, Newport 63, still upper 60s in Smithfield. Showers in northern New England and upstate New York. This is lined up along a long cold front all the way down through the Midwest. It's like a picket fence. We showed this the last couple of nights, how it's really separating two seasons. On one side of it, it is cold. It's snowing across Minneapolis right now, and on the other side of the boundary, we're in the mild there. In fact, we'll stay with the above average temperatures now through at least Saturday afternoon, and then a piece of this cold or cooler air will head our way the latter part of the weekend, so Sunday is much cooler. Hurricane Epsilon is now a Category 3 hurricane. Look at that swirl on the central Atlantic, and here is southern New England, Bermuda right about here. Uh, winds now from the Hurricane Center at the 115 miles per hour, but the good news, the long-range forecast keeps it away from the U.S. mainland. Of course, a concern for Bermuda and the, and the shipping lanes of the North Atlantic over the next several days. It passes over 500 miles south and east of New England. However, later in the week and towards the weekend, maybe kicking back some swells and surf along the coastline. We'll draw in closer. We're walking through the forecast this evening and overnight. All this gray represents clouds and fog, mild temperatures, lower 60s. Now, tomorrow morning, it was starting to burn this off, but notice along the coast, it may take a few hours longer, but even here, unlike today, you'll burn that off to partly sunny skies. And once the sunshine gets to work during the afternoon. Look at these numbers. Temperatures well into the 70s, about 72 to 74 inland and upper 60s right along the coastline. Real comfortable stuff here. 6 o'clock in the evening, we're doing okay tomorrow evening. And then later tomorrow night at 11 o'clock, we're still in the upper 50s. So even the nighttime temperatures running above average. Kind of murky early in the morning, especially along the coastline, thinning out to hazy sunshine, 11 a.m already close to 70 and then during the afternoon reaching the lower 70s with some sunshine about 73 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon a little cooler at the coastline seven day forecast Friday's beautiful as well still mild in the mid to upper 60s close to 70 on Saturday sun to increasing clouds decent day to be outdoors much cooler but sunny on Sunday daytime highs only mid and uh, upper 50s but another foggy night tonight especially near the ocean got to be careful yeah All right. thanks Tony coming up next